Introducing Bozo, the world's most famous clown. <laughs> You made it here. Somebody hitchhiked the ride on Bozo's Bozo talking trike. Who's this pal? Where'd you come from? I was just going for a little spin and I saw you hop on with your bird's wings and everything. Did you like the ride? It's kind of keen and peachy, isn't it? Well, while my pal here, my Bozo Bull is here, let me remind you that not only we're going to have all kinds of surprises, but Professor Tweety Boopers here, we'll have fun with him. We're going to have more fun with Clank the Tin Can Man and another special surprise, a beautiful bonus treasure chest that so many pal enjoy. We're going fishing. That's right. So I tell you, we'll be waiting for you in a minute when all the big top fun is to start. Meantime, Bozo Buddy Leo, let's go for a spin around the ring. Whoa! Kazowie, time now to pick our butch for a day as we swing around our center ring of the big top. So come on and meet all my bozo buddies with their big bozo smiles. Will you look at them all? Will you sit up straight and tell my pals? Because today, today, one of you lucky boys and girls is going to be bozo's butch for a day as we swing around to show those big bouncy smiles. Oh, I don't know. It's beautiful to see a smile on all my pals like that, and, and more smiles on this side, too. Oh, Nelly, look at them all around the center of the Bozo TV circus ring. You look terrific, every one of you. By now, I'm sure you know how Bozo picked his foot for day, don't you? I go right to the center of the Bozo circus ring. I close my eyes real tight, and then I go into my magic Bozo's head. Wait, the little girl, right? Who, who is that there? Mary Ann, would you come here for a second? It's a little girl way in the back. Let's see who she is. Hi. You're Mary Ann. Well, it's nice seeing you, Mary Ann. Don't you look terrific? Let's see if you have a squeaky nose. Just a little bit of a one. Well, stand right here while we uh, crown you officially with the Bozo Butch hat. I know this is going to be a beautiful fit on you, Mary Ann. There. And we have the royal red coat. This is the latest fashion from Paris, you know. And we'll get this on you. Doesn't that look elegant -y? That is terrific. And for you also, a Bozo goodie bag chock full of all kinds of Bozo goodies. Hold on to that. And as an extra special surprise, a beautiful Bozo hassock that I think you'll really enjoy. It has Bozo's picture on it. You'll be able to sit and watch TV and have all kinds of fun. Take that too. I'll see you, my new butt. What a day. Have I got exciting news for you? You know my pal Clank, the tin can man. <laughs> he has invented a beautiful invention. That's right. It has to do with some uh, some kind of beauty treatment. And, well, it grows hair. I guess that's what it does. But I don't think I have to grow hair. My hair is kind of nice, as a matter of fact. I think I'll sort of comb and brush it. Let's see. Yes, up a little. Oh, it does look nice. Yes, I'll comb it a little more right in the front and stuff. And you're right, Mr. Ringmaster. There's something about this hairdo that just doesn't need anything done to it. I certainly have a lot of hair, that's for sure. Whoa, 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 what's going on? What's that? Clank! How are you, Clank? Just fine, Bozo. You, you're all, well, it's nice seeing you. How, uh, what are you doing? I, I've been sort of primping and everything because they told me you had a new invention about a hair growing machine. That's right, Bozo. I'm all excited. It's my new machine and it will grow hair, Bozo. Let me look at it. Wow, we oh, is it <laughs> terrific. Look at it. It's a, oh, wait a minute, Clank. Certainly, I don't, I don't need any hair growing, that's for sure. There but, must be somebody around here that might need right. some hair, Bozo. It might be peachy keen if we can get somebody as a model to see if it works. Do you think it'll work or anything? I hope so, Bozo. Well, I don't know. Who do you think we can need hair? That's the main thing. Do you know anybody who needs a little hair on, on top? Somebody you know, let's, say, let's find out who needs some hair. Oh, uh, oh Professor! <laughs> Professor Tweety Pooper! I mean Tweety Pooper! Well, would you come here for a minute? It's Tweety No, Tweety That's what I You, what you know my pal Clank. Mr. Clink Clank. Yeah, yes. He oh. has invented. He makes inventions. Woo! 
Now, Woo-hoo! this invention is a beautiful hair-growing machine. Yeah. And would you do me a favor? Will you take off your tip-and-topping, tip-top, hop ha hatter you know, I, I, you know, a lot of your pals, don't, you're a little thin on top, right? <laughs> Yeah, but, but who who wants fit hair? <laughs> <laughs> who wants fat hair? Well, that has nothing to do, but wouldn't you like to have a little more hair like a locks growing down or a lot of bushy hair like Mojo? Could, could he do it? You know, a little curl here and a little curl here and maybe two curls over here. What know? do you think, Clank? You think you'll be able to do it with this fantastic hair growing machine? Let's come back oh, here. Oh, I think we can work. do it, you, you can do it? Well, we'll try. Why no, wait, wait, I changed my mind. I don't want it. It costs too much money. No, 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 no. No. It doesn't cost any money, does it, Oh, Clank? it's all free, Bozo. It's all free. It's all free. That's that's reasonable. Yeah. All right, okay, now just put your head right inside the machine. Now, uh, uh, you're sure this is going to work? I hope so, for his sake, Bozo. <laughs> I hope so, too. Well, now, just tell me what to do, because just it looks like a... Just turn on the key, Bozo. Just turn this key. Turn on the key, Bozo. Just turn it on, okay. Turn it on. I've got it turned on. Are you turning it on, Bozo? Wait, something's happening. <laughs> Something's happening, Clank. I feel it. I feel it. Is it working, Clank? It's working, is it working? Bozo. Is it working? Whoa! It is working. All right. All right. Let's see. If... All right, Professor. Professor! Something happened. So you're supposed to grow here, not but take it away. Professor. My goodness, get... Clank, what happened with the machine? Everything you all right? You turned it the wrong way, Bozo. Turn it the other way. Turn it the wrong way? Turn it the other way, Bozo. Well, which is the right... Oh, you mean back to Bozo? Right, Bozo. Let's see, sometimes you're in... All right, let's turn it back a little bit. I'll, I'll get it going now. It's all right, Professor. Don't worry. Don't worry. It'll work out fine. It's working out terrific. Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> 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 Professor! Am I very pretty? <laughs> now I'm going to be very pretty. I'm, I'm, maybe I find a nice girl to marry. Yeah, yeah but the, the only thing... Some, it's not exactly what I had in mind. What looks so good? How about you wanted long hair? I want nice hair, all over. All right, well, let's try. Can we try one more one time? One more time, Bozo. One more time, everything on. Okay. With the all right, no, we'll try this on time. my key, Bozo. Now, look, like, is it working no. right? Everything going kaplooey. Uh, now, hit my activator, Bozo. All right, let's turn it on and get the activator uh, going. Oh, Whoa, this should be Who turned off the light? Where, where, where did everybody go? Professor, I'm awfully sorry. Something went kaplooey with the machine. Well, what, what did Mr. Clang do? Uh, well, I think you grow your hairs too long. I'll try and give you a haircut right now. No, I have a little Can scissors you, here. Cut off a little bit. No, I have a little scissors. I'll just cut a little right off there. Yeah. Cut off. Oh, this is my nose. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm it <laughs> It's a... That's <laughs> Well, uh, I, I know you're kind of excited, but what are you doing here, cowgirl? Well, now, no, no, wait a minute. You're a cowgirl at the Bozo Big Top. Where do you live? I, I live in Tombstone Gulch. Tombstone Gulch? Wowee! I just happen to think I know someone who lives in Tombstone Gulch. A, a relative of mine. Wow! That's right. Oh, don't get so carried away. Hey, Butch, listen to this. Dear Bozo, I'm in trouble, need help, come a-running. Your favorite uncle, Uncle Cactus, Sheriff of Tombstone Gulch. Golly, Bozo, wonder what kind of trouble your Uncle Cactus is in. Beats me, butchy boy, but we're heading out west. Bozo, here comes the Sheriff now. That's Uncle Cactus, all righty. Wonder what he's doing riding a scooter, Bozo. Hi, Unc. Whoa! Where are you, consign contraption? Where's your horse, Uncle Cactus? That's the trouble, Bozo. Look, some horse thief has stolen every cayuse in Tombstone Gulch. Bozo, I want you to help me catch that mangy horse thief. Don't worry, Uncle Cactus. Old Bozo has got an idea. We'll disguise ourselves like a horse and wait for the horse thief. And when that ordinary horse thief shows up, I'll blast him! Well, dog my cat! If that don't beat all! I don't see no horse thieves around, Butch. I don't see anything, Bozo. It's dark in here. Bring back my nephew Bozo, you horse thief! I'll blast them barmints! 
Butchie boy. We've been kidnapped. The horse nap. I'll head him off at the pass. Reckon we got the last horse in Tombstone Gulch, huh, Big Shorty? They don't make better horse beef than us, huh, Short Biggie? I'll set that cayuse down in the corral. Sure is a crummy looking nag. Crummy looking? Yeah, what'd you say, Short Biggie? I didn't say nothing, Big Shorty. I'm sure it wasn't this horse talking. <laughs> Golly, Bozo, if those crooks find us, we're in real trouble. The Brandon Iron sizzling hot. Now to brand that horse critter. Brandon Iron? Oh, no. This is going to hurt you more than it does me, horsey. <laughs> now cut that out. Cut that out? Oh, no. A talking horse. Hang on, Butchie boy. We're heading for the hills. Big Shorty, our horse is getting away. Stop that crazy mixed up Cayuse. Ooh, Nelly. Whoa, you mangy critter. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, horsey. Whoa. Follow me, Butchie boy. I'm right behind you, Bozo. Now corral that horse. My name ain't Big Shorty. <laughs> They're using real bullets. Look, Big Shorty. Our horse is falling apart. Bozo, wait for me. They just don't make horses like they used to. Whoa, Nelly. Head him off at the pass, Big Shorty. Bozo, head for the helicopter. What we do, Butchie boy? Hey, that horse we stole is stealing our flying machine. Hurry, Bozo, hurry. Switch on, co-pilot. Roger, Captain. Oh, holy stop, thieves. Last off, Bozo. Here comes the crooks. I'll blast them, guys. They're getting away. My six-shooter, it's shot. Too poop to pop. Bozo, the crooks are out of bullets. Good. Now I'll watch the fur fly, butchie boy. Big Shorty, beat it. They're coming this way. It's every man for himself. <laughs> Old Bozo's got them horse thieves. Thanks, Nephew Bozo. So long. So long, Uncle Cactus. Well, Butchie Boy, by hook or crook, we caught the crooks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as you probably noticed, we put down a royal red carpet in the center ring of the Bozo TV Circus. And that's to sort of uh, really give a real regal touch to our game called the Egg on the Spoon uh, Race. Well, it's not the egg on the spoon, it's the spoon bush and the egg. That's what this race is, and I have three of my pals to play it. Here's Patty. Nice meeting you, Patty. I like your nose. It's a, it's a different kind of nose with a spoon right on the bridge there. Gary, it's nice seeing you. It's a pleasure talking to you. And here's, here's my pal, uh, Paul. Nice seeing you. Nothing happened to their nose. The bandage there just to hold on the spoon. Now, I want each of you to get down on your knees in front of, in front of a little egg. We have beautiful eggs here. Now, the object of this race is very simple. What you have to do is sort of neatly nudge that egg all the way to the end of the royal red carpet. You cannot use your hands, only touch the, the egg with the spoon attached to the bridge of your nose. So ready, on your mark, get set, go. Oh, put it, bring it back, you gotta come back on the royal red carpet. Uh, stay on the carpet now. Stay on the carpet. Okay, no, no hands. Oh, they're gonna clamp hands there. Oh, it's, you gotta bring it back to where it's tied on the carpet. In the carpet. Oh, 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 oh. Back on the carpet. You gotta keep going down there. Oh, I tell you, Paul, you move pretty fast. 
You've got real winning form. I bet you never moved so fast in your life. Well, each of you stand right up over here because we have a special prize for you. That's a fast little game for our winning pal. He can have his own soda fountain, a uh, whiz fizz. I think you'll enjoy. And mother pals are going to have all these lovely bozo lunch boxes. One for each of you, for you, Gary, and for you, Patty, too. And thanks for playing our bozo pushing the egg with the spoon game. Go see Mr. Ringmaster. He'll help get that spoon off the bridge of your nose, all right? That, I tell you, that's kind of fun. Sir, what read all the fouls. What's going on? Get your hot news. Hot news. Extra. Extra. Read all the fouls. Get your hot uh, news. Uh, news, boy. Hot news. Look, we're, we're having a show here. You can't do that. What are you doing? Now, come on. You get out of the circus, please. Do you know what? It's time again for our Bozo Bonus Treasure Test Game. Bring it in, Mr. Ringmaster. Look at that, a giant treasure chest of toys for some lucky boy or girl. Well, let's get Butch to pick the winner. Where's, where's Butch? Where's, where's Butch? Have you seen Butch around? Butch, would you come over here for a second? There, I'd like you to just come right over here and close your eyes real tight. Pick out one of the numbers. Anyone? All right, let's see what number it's going to be. It's number 51. That's 17, Robert. That's close, but not... 51 is right over here. We'll be all set. Well, hi, Kathy. How are you? Do you see this treasure chest of toys? This giant treasure chest of toys will go home with you if you can go fishing for us. Do you ever go fishing before? Well, I have a special fishing rod for you with a ring attached to it. You see that ring? Now, you stand right in the center of the ring in this red circle, and you see that little lagoon right on the ground there? Well, that lagoon has some fish in it. Now, there are six fish. All we want you to pick up is four fish. See, there's a little hook right on the end of it. The idea is you get the hook in there, just bring the fish up and bring it back to Bozo, okay? If you can pick up four of those fish in 30 seconds, you win the treasure chest, okay? Ready? When I say go, on your mark, get set, go. Okay, she's going for that big orange snapper right there. All right, there's one, just bring it back to Bozo. Good, all right, just drop it right there. Okay, go for the second one. Huh? You have to just get four. Oh, she's a good fisherwoman. All right, there's two, all right. Oh, will she do it? Will she do it? There's three. All right. Whoa! Well, you're a good fisherwoman, all right, Kathy. And do you know what? You got yourself a bozo treasure chest of toys. There's a bozo talking bike, a big doll bank, empress phones, all kinds of toys here. Wow, Ikazawi, are you pretty excited? You're shaking all over. I can feel that. Well, good luck to you, Kathy. We'll have this for you right after our circus show, okay? Oh, I bought a hand for our treasure chest winner, Kathy. Go for the ring master. Oh, I bet she's a real excited fisherwoman, all right. Well, what I better do is move our giant treasure chest of toys to the other side of the ring. Oh, but read all about it. Hot news. Extra. Extra. Well, now, look, now, look. This Hot is the, news. Excuse me. This is the second time that you stopped by here. Now, what does that say? Hot news, bozo. Bozo show buffo. Well, that's the silliest thing I ever did here. Now, you just can't come in the middle and interrupt the circus, and you keep saying hot news, hot news. All right, let's, let's read this hot news and, and see what's so hot about it. Let's see what's so hot about this hot news. Wowee, I just can't see. There's no hot news here. What are you talking about? You see it? Look. <laughs> it's a snappy news. It's a snappy news. As you see, one of my little bozo buddies is helping me to, to learn all the new fangled dances, and this is kind of a very interesting one. You know who knows how, what is that? You, you know who knows how to do all these dances? Okay. One of my pals here at the circus. You know who I mean? Who? Plank, the tin can man, too. Let's bring him in. Come on in, Plank. There you go. Wow, we Kazawa Clank, my pal here, and uh, some other pals are just anxious to dance with you. Are you in a dancing mood? I'm all set, both on the well, twist. I, I, on hey, the would you help us out at home? Would you please dance with us, too? I hope so. I tell you, Mr. Music Master Meister, sir, would you strike up the band and clank you and, and Helen can start us off and we can do some dancing.
We hope you had fun with us today, and of course, we'll see you next time here on the Moto Big Talk. Till then, remember what your pal Moto always says. Oh!